Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today, I'll show you the Ring Doorbell Camera 2. This is the latest version of the original Ring Doorbell. It now features a 1080p camera and also a removable and rechargeable battery. So now, you don't have to remove the whole doorbell unit to charge it. All the other features are the same as the original one. Today, I'll show you the unboxing, setup, install, and check out the features and some video footage. Is this a better version? Well, let's find out. The main thing that has been updated with this version is the camera. The original is a 720p and this one is now a 1080p camera. Also, it now has a removable and rechargeable battery and the bottom half of the camera can be changed with the included faceplates. It comes with a silver or what they call satin nickel and the brown or the Venetian faceplates. So let's open up the box. We have a window decal. Some one page information. A user guide booklet which shows you how to set up and install your ring doorbell. It is very thorough and will give you clear instructions with pictures on how to set up and install the camera. Now we have the installation toolbox. And inside we have some mounting screws, a diode for those with electronic doorbells, machine screws, a concrete drill bit, a couple of extension wires, a Phillips and Torx head bit, a level, a USB cord used initially to charge the battery, a wire nuts, and the handle for the bit. Well now, there is definitely more extra stuff that is provided to easily install your doorbell. Okay, we have the doorbell itself and the included torque security screws like the original one. The doorbell itself is light. I guess there's no battery yet, but the body and the faceplate are plastic, which the original doorbell has a metal bottom. Kinda disappointing. The design still follows the old one, but this new one is a little bit thicker. The back has two screws which I think is needed to hook up the wires. Again, very plasticky. I'm surprised that this is supposedly weatherproof. Ring also provided the wedge and corner kits so as to be able to install and position your camera effectively. There are some houses that the regular doorbell is not parallel to the door or wall, or it is too high or too low mounted, and this kit will help you angle the camera better. It is white so that you can paint it to match your house colors. It comes with mounting screws. Man, there is a lot of odds and ends in this package which is good so that you will have a lot of choices on mounting the camera doorbell. Now on the bottom of the box, we have the battery and the brown Venetian faceplate. Also we have a mounting plate adapter if you are replacing or upgrading your original doorbell. Now, this just means that this version 2 will have different mounting holes as compared to the original one. 
So let's see how it works later on when we do the installation. Now we have the battery which can be easily removed and be recharged. Ring states that the battery will last 6 to 12 months. So let's open this up so that we can see how to put on the battery. This is the removable faceplate and we can change this to the Venetian brown later on. We got some battery info. So there is a slot at the bottom for the battery and it just snaps in place like so. Now we have some weight on this doorbell. You just need to push on this metal tab to slide the battery out. We need to charge the battery first before we continue with the setup and install. There is a micro USB slot at the bottom on where you can hook up the USB cord to charge the battery. So let's set this up. First time users, you need to download the Ring app on your phone, then open it up. We'll click on Setup Device. Choose Ring Video Doorbell 2. Name your camera. Verify your address and click Continue. We have to take off the faceplate to have access to the Setup button on the upper right corner of the camera. Then click Continue. Now exit the app and go to your phone settings and to your Wi-Fi. Click on the SSID that has the ring plus numbers and letters on it. Go back to the app and the ring will show you your available Wi-Fi. Now take note, this version still only supports 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Choose the Wi-Fi you want to connect to, type in your password, and click Continue. Now the ring will be connecting to your Wi-Fi and the setup will be complete. Now it will start the setup guide in which you can set up the motion zones. This is the same as the original doorbell. So I'll set it up and click save. The user interface is the same as the old one. So we have the battery level here. Where they have the event history. The live view settings which I need to turn on. Alright, so let's check out Live View. Now the ring doorbell is set up. Now let's do the install. So I'll be replacing my older ring doorbell and we will first remove that. We will remove the mounting plate and replace with the new adapter plate. I'll hook up the extension wires on the back of the doorbell. Then connect it to the main wires using the wire nuts. Now I'll then slip in the adapter plate and screw it in on the wall using the original holes. 
and screw in the camera using the short machine screws that are included in the mounting kit. Now let's install the battery and the Venetian brown, not the bronze, faceplate. And there you have it guys, the new Ring Doorbell 2. Oh wait, we need to secure it with the included security screw. Now it's finished. So let's check out some footage. This is at night with infrared on. Totally dark outside and then with my light porch on. Now this is early morning and you can see it just started recording when I'm almost to the door. I set up motion up to 20 feet out. With this test I can tell you that there is still a motion detection lag with the new version. Now this one midday with a full sun. The video is definitely better than the 720p but it seems washed out. Finally, here is a sample of ringing the doorbell and two-way communication. Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, here are my thoughts guys on the Ring Video Doorbell 2. You can take this with a grain of salt. The video is better as compared to the original one and is supposed to be 1080p. But my floodlight camera feed is way better though. The motion detection lag is still apparent. But my main complaint is the build quality. It is just too plasticky, all plastic. It is not built as robust as the original one. Now as to the removable battery, well, Ring says that the battery should last 6 to 12 months. I have no problem unscrewing the original one to charge it 2 times a year. I hardwired mine anyways. But this benefit is a wash in my opinion. Also take note guys that if you take out the battery to be charged, the doorbell will not work. So basically it is the same thing as taking off the main unit to be charged, just like the original one. So hopefully you liked the video guys, let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to get new product reviews and everyday life hacks. Thank you.